This is Public Resource. Welcome to the TDM Today Show, starring Roger Magulas. Hey, Roger, how you doing? Good morning. I'm doing great. So we're talking about text and data mining today. So, Roger, what in the world is a lemur? Well, a lemur is a small primate native to Madagascar. Okay, that's, that's not right. That's not right. Well, what's a lemming? Well, a lemming is a small uh, creature that's known for its suicidal tendencies at some times. Okay, that's not right. That's not right. Roger, what's a lemma? Okay, a lemma. Now that has to do with text mining. So okay. a lemma is the canonical or dictionary form of a word. And what's great about a, a lemma is that it's a single a version of the word you can use that captures all the inflections you might use. So you could have run for runs and running and other variants of it. What that does is it helps you um, kind of like normalize a little bit the words that are used in a document because often the different inflections have the same meaning, particularly like singular and plural is the easiest way to think about it. And they uh, really help simplify any kind of searching you might do through it. I can give you a quick example. There's about two thirds as many lemmas as there are tokens, individual words in the science uh, journals that we're investigating. So you would use lemmas in a different situation than you would use unigrams. If you're searching for a plant name, for example, do you turn that into lemmas or would you just rather have the actual unigram? Actually, I do turn it into lemmas and turn an unigram because luckily with something like a plant name, the main variant is plural versus singular. And of course the lemma helps make that um, work. So uh, when you can, it's good to use uh, lemmas and Unigrams are also helpful if you're not looking for something quite as specific. So if you're looking for something a little more general, you might want to use ugrams because you have a specific phrase in mind uh, that you're looking for. So lemmas are just a way to kind of cut down on the diversity. It doesn't add that much meaning or um, value to what you're looking for. So you want both of those if you're building a text and data mining environment. You need both the, the n-grams and the lemmas. Are there bilemmas? Are there n-lemmas? Um, Absolutely. So a, a lemma is just a way of pre-processing the words before you put them into the structures you want. So right now, we actually, on one of the slices, we do have unigrams, bigrams, and trigrams uh, that were lemmatized. So that's the word to use when you turn words into lemons, you call it lemmatized. And, uh, and so we do have that for one of the, one of the slices of the um, corpus that we're looking at. And what software do you use to lemmatize? So you, you start with the unigrams and you lemmatize them? Is that how that works? No, I actually am in the document because the lemmatizer and Spacey, so I use Spacey and Texasy, I mentioned those in the last uh, version of this, that um, help make sense of the words are really good natural language processing packages. And one of the things they do is they lemmatize before they go into their n-gram processes. So what they do is they look for things like capital letters that help something maybe be a proper noun, and it kind of contextualizes the lemma. So it's a little more sophisticated than just taking the, the word out. Uh, an example of that might be if you have a very long proper noun, Spacey and Texasize kind of recognize that and won't turn it into small snippets, but keeps it as a very long thing because it realizes it's something that should hang together. So that's pretty helpful in, in searching for something is that it can keep kind of a long thing that it recognizes as a proper noun together. So when you're searching for plant names, for example, um, and you said there's tens of billions of, of unigrams, is this a fast process? What, what do you use, like Postgres? Or? Yeah, so it does store it in a Postgres database. At this point, it is not that fast because we're going through a lot of things. Um, we will try to speed things up, and we probably will be able to do things like 
subsetting and um, we'll practice with more indexing. And there are some things around keyword search algorithms that might be a help with this. We're, we're going to explore those in subsequent programs. Uh, we'll talk about keyword extraction. Uh, we're going to talk about entity recognition. Uh, we're going to talk about the different kinds of databases one might use and things we can do to make them run faster. So this has been the TDM Today Show starring uh, Roger McGoulis. Thank you, Roger. Our work at Public Resource is made possible by a generous grant from Arcadia. Arcadia a charitable fund of Lisbeth Rousing and Peter Baldwin. Additional support provided by contributions from citizens like you. Thank you for your support. Public Resource is a 501c3 nonprofit corporation with headquarters in the state of California and dedicated to the principle that access to knowledge is a human right.